Let's talk more about the strength of ionic interactions. There's two components to an ionic interaction. One is the charge, in this case, plus one and minus one. The other is the distance between them. As the distance gets smaller, that ionic interaction gets stronger, and that forms a stronger bond. So that interaction, the distance, and the fact that the bond is stronger and more energy is released as that bond gets smaller, helps us understand how ions form in ionic bonds. So when chlorine approaches a lithium or a sodium or a potassium, the chlorine wants to pull an electron. The sodium and lithium and potassium want to give up an electron. The question is, at what distance does it make sense for them to do so? When is it energetically efficient for the electron to move from the potassium or the sodium or the lithium over to the chlorine? So let me ask you this question. The R, the distance between nuclear centers, where an electron jumps from one element to the other, varies. For which of these elements, lithium, sodium, or potassium, in a chloride formation, is that distance the greatest? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each of the answers. A, lithium has the highest ionization energy, so it will release the most energy when the bond forms. Or B, sodium chloride is the most common salt, so it will form at the greatest distance. Or C, potassium has the lowest ionization energy, so it will transfer an electron at the greatest distance. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're looking at the formation of chlorides, and we're trying to decide when the electron jumps from either sodium, potassium, or lithium onto the chlorine. Well, we know when it does, there'll be an ionic bond formation. So we're balancing two things. We get a bunch of energy out when we form the ionic bond, but it takes a bunch of energy to transfer that electron from the potassium, sodium, or lithium over to the chlorine. So the question is, how do I balance that distance? The closer the distance, the stronger the bond. So I get more and more energy released the closer I get. If I'm far apart, I don't get as much energy released. So if I'm far apart, I need it to be easy to peel the electron off the sodium, potassium, or lithium. As I get close together, I can peel electron off something that's less willing to give it up. So it's the ionization energy of the sodium or lithium or potassium that I have to look at. If it's easy to ionize, I'll pull off that electron at a relatively high distance because I don't need as much stabilization energy from the resulting plus minus coulombic interaction. If it's hard to pull something off, I got to get really close because when I pull that off, then they're already close and I get a powerful release in that strong formation of ionic bond. So Potassium, with the lowest ionization energy, is the easiest to peel an electron off of. So I peel an electron off potassium at the greatest distance because I don't need as much coulombic stabilization between the plus and minus. I can do so at a greater distance. Potassium is the right answer in this case. Now, there's a lot going on in this chem quiz. We had to talk about ionization, we had to talk about coulombic interaction, we had to talk about ionization energies. If you didn't get everything here, don't worry about that. We'll have chem quizzes like this where we bring everything together and it might be really tough. The, the point is, stop and think about it. Talk about it with your friends. If you get it, great. If you don't, listen to the explanation again and see if you can.